Hello, this is just a quick follow-up video to one I put out not too long ago where I was uh, showing Splinter Cell Chaos Theory running with a first-person mod. Um, there were still a couple of issues that were present in that video that I've since corrected, uh, one of which is the different values for the X and Y axis. Um, I've corrected those so it it's much more intuitive and makes more sense, uh, much more in line with what you'd expect. Um, I've also corrected the character stance so it it looks a little better. Um, you still see some character model pop in when switching, when crouching, um, but it's less of an issue than it was before. Uh, another thing that I've done is um, set it up so that you can throw an object from first person. Um, there is still some character model pop in here and there and I may need to tweak that. But it's certainly much better. Now just remember this is not a pure first person mod. You still need to pop out to third person to do certain things. Actually. When did this get switched on? Trying to put us off our game. We will see about that. I'd say most of the game could be played in first person, 80% of the game, 90%, something like that, but you're gonna want to climb some things at times, you're gonna need to interact with certain items. That time I'm sure I saw it. play for a few minutes to show a little bit how the game plays, what it's like. Compact with license plate to Shibuya 3031-56 has been double parked. Please move your vehicle.
Nice building. I'm gonna suggest they hire your designer to do some work on the Pentagon. What do you want? A news update. What's happening here tonight? I know nothing! You probably know more than you think. Just talk. Some men have been moved around, guarding inside. A captain was here earlier getting volunteers. Not sure what for. I should have stayed home. It was karaoke. Unnecessary hard copies of all documents prior to incineration. Just a reminder, um, if you're interested in doing something like this yourself, um, there are a lot of camera settings in the any files, um, and in theory, the entire game could be played in first person. Now, when I when I you know when I when I tried to do that, um, I was successful, but I ran into a lot of problems. Uh, there there is just certain things the game expects you, uh, the, I think, the character model to be doing. Um, and when you mess with that, um, Sam would get stuck in the environment or be unable to interact with things. Um, and it just, it just, it just was too much trouble. Um, whereas in this case, you can play mostly in first person, do pretty much all of your sneaking around like that. And um, when the game requires it, pop out to third person and continue. So I think I'll leave it at that. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Or suggestions, certainly. Um, I have tried my hand and doing something similar for the original Splinter Cell as well as Pandora Tomorrow. And while I have been successful at getting the first person gameplay down, or rather the view, I have not been successful at getting that movement speed, movement speed to match what it would should be for third person. So it's it's. I wouldn't call it very effective. And it's not how I would really want to play the game. But this, this, this seems to work. Um, I've also been working on getting this to work similarly with uh, Double Agent. And um, I've made a lot of progress. Uh, I'm not quite done though. And when I am, I'll post a video. that. I think I'll leave it there. Thanks so much. <laughs>